So if you have picked up iPad Pro, whether if it was at launch or sometime this year, and you want to take advantage of its amazing hardware, here are five apps you should definitely consider downloading. And before we jump in here, I'd really appreciate it if you'd smash the like button and leave me a comment, whether it's a question or an opinion. Any interaction helps me out as the algorithm likes it and will push my content to more viewers. So any interaction, once again, is much appreciated. So without further ado, let's jump into these five amazing apps. The first app I want to go over is Adobe Lightroom for iPad. Lightroom is just the best way to enhance your photos already, bringing them to the next level by enhancing and tweaking stuff like exposure, contrast, clarity, all that good stuff. And with iPad Pro, the experience just got a whole lot better, especially with the Apple Pencil and its fine input that you get with it. Um, local adjustments are made really easy. You can just kind of color over parts of the image that you want to locally adjust once again. And yeah, it's just a great experience. And if you're a photographer, this is definitely an app to get, especially now that iPad OS brings you know external storage support so you can just easily transfer photos from an SD card onto your iPad and then into Lightroom. The second app that I want to talk about is very popular on the app store. It's called Good Notes 5. This is kind of an expensive app, by the way, it's like $7.99, but it makes sense because it's probably the best note-taking, note-oriented app on the App Store for iPad Pro. And I say that because it has insane palm rejection. You can like assign different ways that you use your iPad in order to get the best result from the rejection. You also have different types of e-paper that you can choose from, you know, just like wide ruled, college ruled equivalents, you know, like to-do lists, charts, everything you can imagine. You also get like covers of your virtual notebooks. It's just insane and it's just a great way to take notes. It's a very fluid experience and I've actually used Notability in the past and I can say this app is just beyond that and is worth the money. So yeah, this app is designed to help somebody go paperless, someone like me, and I'm historically known to take handwritten notes in messy cursive and like a bunch of composition notebooks. So I'm really happy to just get rid of all that and just have all of my notes in one place. It's gonna be super efficient and convenient and I cannot wait to use this app at university. The third app that I wanna talk about is called Selfie Pen Script. And I actually had to do some digging in order to find this because I didn't even know an app like this existed. Um, I really wanted to solely rely on the Apple Pencil in some cases and a big obstacle with that is the keyboard or the default keyboard or any keyboard that's just QWERTY. But this app allows you to handwrite and convert that handwriting into text. And at first I was skeptical, you know, I tried it out, but it's incredible. It's super accurate. And I'm somebody who usually writes in messy doctor's cursive and it works like 90% of the time. And that's amazing for someone with, once again, messy handwriting, neater handwriting, it's perfect. You can do capital letters, you know, hyphens, different symbols, whatever. It works very, very well. And, if, and for everyday tasks like, you know, like web surfing and like maybe replying to a short email or whatever, it's great. It allows you to just kind of use the Apple Pencil, make the most of it and have some fun with it. It's nice to be able to handwrite as an input rather than, you know, kind of fumbling around on the iPad keyboard. I enjoy that. It's a change of pace, but I will say it's only good for like short text phrases. You know, like if you're typing a couple sentences that's fine but if you're gonna be writing a paper I mean by all means you can go ahead and use this app but I would recommend you know getting a keyboard case or typing your paper up on a computer with an actual keyboard the fourth app that I want to share with you guys is called FL Studio Mobile. Fruity Loops or FL Studio is like one of the most world-renowned software programs for producing music. Some of the best DJs and EDM artists use it, including Avicii, Rest in Peace. But yeah, I mean, it's a great program. I have no idea how to use it. I thought I was going to do music production at one point, but I downloaded it and just never really touched it. I know how to use it a little bit, but it's kind of fun to mess around with. But anyway, if you're someone who is at all inclined to music production or or are someone who is and wants to get into that this is definitely an app to check out it's like 25 bucks i think not as expensive as the actual app fill studio but yeah it's a great piece of software and i highly recommend picking it up once again if you are pursuing some kind of music production career and the fifth and final app the one i'm the most excited to talk about because it applies most to me is luma fusion i'm sure you've heard about this app before but i just want to talk about it today it's $29.99 with some in-app purchases, but believe you me, it is worth every penny. And I've used it just a couple of times. I don't really have a use for it right now as I you know, mostly edit my videos on an iMac, but if I changed up my workflow and if I was more mobile, I would definitely consider using this app. I've always wanted to have Final Cut on an iPad form factor. And for right now, this is the closest we're gonna get. And editing with an Apple Pencil is just super fun and intuitive, I have to say. The amount of control you have over your clips in terms of how you color them, you know, scale them, you know, place them is very reminiscent of once again, Final Cut and is miles beyond that of what you can get with iMovie, the default video editing app that you get with iPad Pro. 
So yeah, with the iPad's now revamp files app with iPad OS and just the more compatibility with external storage, you can definitely have somewhat of a professional workflow with video with your iPad Pro. And I will just say, if you plan on doing video editing with an iPad Pro, whether it's the current version or the next gen, definitely get a bigger capacity one, you know, like 256, 512 gigabyte, maybe even the terabyte one if you're super serious, because like 4K footage takes up a lot of space. And if you're shooting with that, you're definitely gonna wanna have as much space as possible. And speaking of 4K, you can absolutely edit that on the iPad Pro. It's a very smooth, excellent experience and just takes advantage of the monster processor, which is the A12X. So yeah, that about wraps things up. I hope this video helped you out. If you're trying to get the most out of your iPad Pro with great apps, I'd really appreciate it. Once again, if you'd smash that like button, leave me a comment, whether it's a question or suggestion, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.